Hey gamers, if you like trick taking and sumo wrestling, then you might want to check out sumo. Let's take a look at how it plays. In this game, players will be playing cards each round to try and win tricks in order to push their opponent out of the sumo ring. So the first thing that players are going to do is simultaneously select a card and they'll play those to determine who will play first. So with the higher number here, player one will play first. So they might play this brown two. And if a player can follow suit, they must. So this player might play the brown five, which means that they've won the trick. So they will push their opponent one step closer to the edge of the sumo ring. So then this player will play first. They might play their blue three. And then this player played their blue four. So they'll push them back into the center. Most of the time, players will continue playing tricks until somebody is pushed out of the edge of the ring but it's also possible that players can play one of the winning sumo moves in order to play a little bit of a trickery in order to win, even despite the position of players in the ring. So we might keep playing and we might play this brown three against this brown one, which would cause them to push again. And it looks like this player might win and they'll play first again. And they played a pink five and this player unable to follow suit plays their brown two, which would be a Wuchari. So if they play a two in a different color than the lead color, which they can only do if they can't follow suit, while they're on the edge of the sumo ring, then they will win. So in this case, player two is the winner. Players can also use some of the tournament sheets in order to make their own little sumo wrestler here and then track whether they are winning or losing matches and what move they are winning or losing with or to. One round is just all you need to play and a full game and win, but players can also, like I said, use the tournament sheets to track those, and then once they've lost three rounds, they can compare their score to the tournament sheet and see how they rank. I can be very hit and miss with trick-taking games. There are some that I really like, most of them I'm pretty mid on, and some of them I absolutely just cannot stand. I like two player games a lot. I mostly play two player games. And so I wanted to try this out. I thought it seemed kind of interesting. There is another two player trick taker uh, called claim that works pretty well. Um, so I wanted to see how this kind of compares and if this also is a pretty good two player trick taker because there's not a lot of trick taking games that play at two. I thought that this was okay. I did like that it was super, super quick. Um, I always like when you can kind of just pull out a deck of cards, play really fast, pretty much anywhere. That's always really enticing. And I did really like that there was rules to kind of compensate for if you can't follow suit or um, if you have some of the lower cards. There was times where you could use a one to win because of a certain sumo move or like in the example, you could use um, a different colored suit if you can't follow to win with a certain move as well. I really liked that because I feel like a lot of trick takers don't do anything to compensate for just that initial deal of the cards. It's just if you have the higher cards, you might be more likely to win or at least keep control. And that's why I kind of just don't understand trick takers a lot. So I did think that this worked pretty well for that aspect. On the same side though, I did think that it was maybe a little bit too quick to really feel like you were getting into it, that you had any room to strategize at all. Um, you know, you play a couple cards and sometimes it can be very, very short if you're just able to win a few tricks in a row and then just push your opponent right out of the sumo ring. It can be over really quickly, like before you even realize what's happened. So it's kind of middling for me. I did think it was cool. So if you do like trick taking and play a lot of two player games, you might want to check it out. But you can check out my full thoughts on the blog today to decide if this one's for you.